Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to a new edition of Hey, I've Got Something to Say with Apostle Monica Onukwo. And I have my guest here today, Elder Chris. Hallelujah, Elder Chris Lee. So good to see everyone out there. Glory be to God, the name of Jesus Christ. What an honor and a blessing to have you. We love you so much, but Jesus Christ loves you more. So we're going to jump right into prayer before we get into our topic today. Glory to God. Okay, so just please humble yourself with us real quick before we go um, the, before the almighty throne of God. So Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you today. We honor you. We adore you, Lord God. Have your way today, Lord God. Somebody out there needs a word, God. Somebody out there needs a right now word, God. And we just believe, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you're able, Lord God, that you're more than able, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, to set free and deliver, God, heal and restore, Lord God. That's just the type of faith of God you are. So, Lord, we thank you, God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, that you would have your way on this broadcast today. All right. So thank God. Thank God. Thank God again. So today we're coming from the topic today, sin and consequences. Um, we'll be kind of referencing uh, the, the scriptures come out of the book of Numbers, chapter 13 and 14, and maybe a few other scriptures we'll throw in there, but we're going to let the Holy Ghost lead. So one of the things that he and I was discussing today, Elder uh, Chris today and I were discussing, was that, um, you know, a lot of people, um, when you get into the subject of sin, um, first of all, a lot of people look at, um, sin, uh, they look at the obvious things like, um, stealing, um, lying or committing adultery, fornication. And they look at those type of sins. And we don't a lot of times take note that, uh, sin is sin. And yes, some sins are measured differently. Like we know that lying is an abomination to God. Some things God just hates, but uh, it still doesn't mean that any sin is greater than, than the other sin, okay? However, we uh, a lot of times look at, like I said before, a lot of times people look at like stealing, maybe, you know, committing adultery or, oh, those that's the sin. But people also don't realize that, you know, if you take a paper clip from jail, from not jail, Lord God, we'll be the other name of Jesus. You take, <laughs> you take a paper clip from off your 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 desktop, and it doesn't belong to you, and you from your job, and you're taking it home. That's that's a sin, right? Because it's not yours. You take toilet tissue out, you know, um, out of. Uh, of the bathroom and it's not yours and I, I know somebody that used to do this y'all okay it, it's stealing no matter how much you need it it's stealing come on right so you know we 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 not we're not talking about this topic to hammer anybody but we want to enlighten you know people and educate them so that you can be blessed we all can be blessed because if we're walking in error which is sin anytime we're walking in error and anytime we're walking in sin which are things that are contrary to the word of God. If it doesn't line up with the word of God, come on, in the name of Jesus Christ, I don't care how popular things are, how modern things have gotten, how contemporary things have gotten. If it doesn't line up with the word of God, it's sin. It's contrary to the word of God. And again, I want to say this here. The Bible speaks of there is a way that uh, seemeth right into man, but the end thereof is thereof. We got our own way of doing things. If it was up to Monica, if it was up to Monica, a lot of things I would change, but it's not up to Monica, right? So I don't know. So I have to yield to God because in the long run, I have to answer to God. I, in the short run, I got to answer to God, but definitely, you know, uh, we have to answer to God. Whether it's short or long, we got to answer to God. And we want God to be on our side. And so I um, just want to read this here and then we're going to uh, put a book of uh, numbers. And then we're going to just allow the Holy Ghost to elaborate. I'm going to let uh, Elder Chris, whatever the Lord gives him. And I was reading, um, man of God, I was reading the other day in the book of Numbers, and I was reading how um, in the book of, uh, was it 14? I think it's 14 and 15. And uh, where the Lord had told Moses, the Lord was talking to Moses, I'm going to paraphrase here for the sake of time, where the Lord had told Moses to send out, you know, certain men um, to spy out the land, certain men of God to spy out the land. And these men of God that gone out, they went out, right? And then, and they come back. But some came back with a bad report. They came, they didn't come back with, uh, well, the new, good news. Actually, they came back with frightening news that they put out into the camp. Mm -hmm. And which made the people of God in the camp start to murmur and to complain and reject God. They actually wanted to go backwards. So the, 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 the point in this here is that these people 
rejected God. They wanted to go against God. After all the things that God has shown them and done, they still wanted to turn back on God. And God got angry about that because that's what somebody that feels like God doesn't get angry. If some people feel like that God doesn't get angry, God can get angry. You know, God is a loving God, which we're going to hear. And I'm going to let you speak here. He's a long suffering God, which I'm going to show you too also in scripture, but he also can be a God of wrath. And that's the part we don't want to come up under. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, did you want to say anything right now? Okay. So, um, matter of fact here, and I, I hate I didn't write that scripture down, but the Lord spoken to Aaron here. This is 14. Here it is right here. 27. Let me just read this part. It says, how long shall I bear with this evil congregation who complains against me? I've heard the complaints which the children of Israel make against me. There, That's a sin there to complain. People of God murmuring. God doesn't like that. See, this is one of those sins that people don't want to talk about that we do all the time. Glory be to God. We're not grateful. We're not grateful for what God has, uh, has taken us. We're not grateful for what God has done for us. And we, we take our eyes off of God and we start complaining. We start murmuring and we're walking in sin. It doesn't have to always be the obvious sins that everybody just look at like fornication, lying, stealing, uh, adultery, you know, uh, this, this, you know, there are other, uh, 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 sins besides those. And so, uh, and this is one of the ones. And so here 28, it says, say to them, as I live, says the Lord, just as you have spoken in my hearing, so I will do to you. Uh, matter of fact, I want to actually back up because the Lord began, I was trying to find that scripture where the Lord began to tell, um, he began to say that, um, of course, that these people that were murmuring and complaining that they would not see the promised land. Their carcasses would die out there in the wilderness. But um, I can't, which one of those men of God that was interceding, um, uh, Okay, here it is. I'm going to back up, you guys. I'm in Numbers 13 and 18. I want to read this part about God 14, is long-suffering. Okay, 14, 18. The Lord is long-suffering and abundant in mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression, but he by no means clears the guilty. Visit the iniquity of, visit the iniquity of the fathers and the children to the third and fourth generation. Pardon, I, th I think this is Moses interceding. Glory be God. Because... God was getting ready to write them there, deal with them, right? Mm -hmm. And but um, and 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 he was talking. He was he was uh and I, he was saying here that the Lord is long suffering in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And, and forgive me, please, because I, I really need to look at the text a little bit more. But you can go back in there and read it here, uh, Numbers fourteen, and read on down from one. Read all of that, matter of fact, and you can actually read fifteen. But just to emphasize and just to point out here from what we're talking about. God is long suffering. He is merciful. He is patient, glory be God. But our sins, right? He loves us, but He is a holy God. And He cannot accept our sins. He cannot uh, accept our sins, and our sins bring us consequences. And so, one of the consequences for these people of God, that the people of God now, one of the consequences was that they were not entering to the promised land. I think it was everybody 20. And on up that mm -hmm. did the sin that was sinning, murmuring, complaining, their carcasses died out there into the wilderness. They didn't make it in. And so these are some things that we need to take note of. I know a lot of people say, oh, that's the Old Testament. You know, the Old Testament doesn't matter anymore. No, the Old Testament is still a part of the Bible. Exactly. Matter of fact, we don't just live by the law, but we, we because we know that Jesus Christ came on the scene. But Jesus Christ even says that, hey, just, you know, he says, um, I, I didn't come to take away the law, but I came to fulfill it, right? He came to fulfill it. So we need to take note of that. And I also just want to point out too in the book of Romans here, where the Bible speaks of in 6 and 1, it says, what shall we say then? Shall we go on sinning that grace may increase? So people of God, we really need to take note that, you know, we need to make sure that we align with the word of God again, because we want the blessings of God, right? I mean, we want, we want to see the blessings. We want to see the prosperity, no matter how much we have to suffer, because I'm sure that, you know, was a, this, this here situation, this case was that, you know, they got afraid, you know, they had gone through some things. Yeah, they, God had brought them out of the land of Egypt and know everything that wasn't going to be uh, great, uh, uh, you know, was it not going to be great? You were going to the promised land, but then it was, God was showing you that he was with you. God was showing them that he was with them, but yet and still, I mean, by a great and mighty hand, come on, for one, what did he do? He brought them out of, out of 
I crossed over the Red Sea. Yeah. It's, it's so much, so much that happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And 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 to elaborate on what you're saying, like mm -hmm. literally, mm -hmm. yes, we know grace is here. We understand it. Yeah. But see, people teach you so much about grace mm -hmm. that they forget to tell you that mm -hmm. you still grace is grace is given. Mm -hmm. Grace is given. Mm -hmm. But why is given? Come on. You still have to you still have to live right. Mm -hmm. and, like, and like you said, they say the old testament, oh, that's the old law, and this, this, and that, man. Listen here. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, I came to I came not to destroy the law, but mm -hmm. to fulfill the law. Amen. That means that means you still gotta live by the law. The Ten Commandments, everything. That's right. All that. No matter what. Mm -hmm. You can't you gotta rightly divide the word. Mm -hmm. And see so many people going to these churches, they're hearing these these uh uh motivational speeches mm -hmm. but not getting the full knowledge of god not Amen. getting Amen. not getting the holy spirit not Amen. getting not getting saved mm -hmm. set free delivered they're mm -hmm. not doing it because mm -hmm. for the simple fact is that, that, that money has now begun to rule the churches mm -hmm. and with money ruling the churches nothing is able to now mm -hmm. i'm not saying every church is like this mm -hmm. but there are some yeah. You know, there are some majority. That, 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 yeah, that, majority, that, actually, that yeah. Them folks come out there mm -hmm. and they live in the same type of way. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. that what they not understanding is you still got to give account for those mm -hmm. sins that you mm -hmm. do. Oh, oh, once saved, always saved. That's not true. Yes, the, mm -hmm. the word tells us God says I'm married to the backslider. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So would you be in, would you be in, a, in, in your backslidden state? Mm -hmm. God said, okay, come back. I'm good with you. Mm -hmm. we, we, let's 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 fix this. That's right. Let's fix this. Let's make this right. That's let's right. let's let's come come to me. Yeah. And I'm gonna make you fishes of men. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's that's basically all it is to it. There's not a whole. It's it's really not hard right. to live for God. It's not mm -hmm. hard to live for God. It's, it's not hard to, mm -hmm. to 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 be one or, or to get in the face mm -hmm. of the Father on a continuous basis. Man, mm -hmm. it's so much pleasure there. And see, people talk about prosperity. Yeah. People think prosperity is just about money. No, mm -hmm. rich in your spirit, rich mm -hmm. in peace, come joy, on, love, on, understanding, that's right. That's right. That's rich right. in. Man, I'm going to tell you something. I, I went, and, and, and Apostle, you can attest to this. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. Go going through what I've been through. Mm -hmm. Like, I've learned here lately as a man to, mm -hmm. to learn how to not move off emotions. Yes. And the only way I learned that was by standing in the face of God. Mm -hmm. Stand on my knees. Stand mm -hmm. praying. Mm -hmm. And I, I got to the point to where I did like Daniel three times a day. Praying, mm -hmm. praying, mm -hmm. praying, praying. Father, help me. Mm -hmm. Because I, me moving emotionally, Cause a lot of things to shift in my yes. life. Yes. 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 Waiting yes. on the promises of God, but mm -hmm. not understanding that I have to do what he says. Yes. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, and I'm gonna add all other things unto you. Mm -hmm. That's when I begin to see the promises. That's right. That's when I begin to see movement. Yes. Because yes. when I finally said, Okay, God, I'm putting you first. Giving giving God a giving God a yes, yes. and a complete yes. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Huh? Putting no, God no, first. No, no, you good. Uh -uh. I just want to say that because, you know, it, it, giving, surrendering to God. And, and even as Elder Chris has stated, it's not hard to live for God. Once you submit to God, once you submit to God, you're going to find it easier, I'll say easier, to do the things that he has called us to do, right? Because when you surrender and you submit to God, you're surrendering and submitting your will, right? And you're saying, yes, Lord, I give it to you. And it's a beautiful thing, just as he had stated the prosperity that comes behind it, the blessings, the increase that comes behind it, right? Well, the Bible, we just got to discussing a, uh, a scripture where the Bible says um, that um, the blessings of the Lord maketh us rich and addeth no sorrow, okay? So the blessings of the Lord are going to, uh, they're going to be great, but there's not going to be hardness behind it. You're not going to have to, it's not going to be sorrow with it, right? It's not going to be sorrow. It's not going to be hard hard things with it so you know uh when you when you when you're in god and you submitting to god not saying that you not going to have to go through some things okay because our faith are tested as children of god but you're going to come out and god's going to give you peace and he's going to give you joy in the midst of the storm coming out of it even though the children of god they, uh they were coming through the wilderness they were still fed they were still taken care of they didn't yes. lack right yes. but but of course they allowed their eyes to come off of god when the eyes got off of God and began to put on their situation, and then they began to panic, and they began to fear, and began to get frustrated, and then they wanted to turn back. When we take our, what happens when we take our eye off of God? Man. Man. That's <laughs> super, super destruction. Yeah. And people think mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's funny how mm -hmm. people think it's hard to live for mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. Only way it's hard that you live for the Father is this, mm -hmm. is that you just really don't want to do it. Yeah. 
You're just not totally mm -hmm. sold out. Man, it doesn't mean that you have to walk around with long dresses and cut mm -hmm. your hair mm -hmm. and all that. That that's 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 mm -hmm. not that's not that. Mm -mm. God don't God look at the he don't look at the outside, he look at the heart. Mm -hmm. And when that heart condition right and all that, this is when you come to see the fullness of the father. Mm -hmm. No matter the situation, this is when you come to see the fullness of the father. When your heart is backed up and and and, and, and it's and it's in tune with the father. Yes. See, yes. see, when you wake up in the morning and say, God, not my will, but your will, order my steps. That means you giving God full control over mm -hmm. your life. Mm -hmm. No matter what. Mm -hmm. There's so many people that didn't turn their back on the Father, mm -hmm. on, on God, yeah. because guess what? Mm -hmm. They have heard promises. Mm -hmm. They've heard the prophecies. They they've heard it all. Mm -hmm. And they like, you know what? Man, ain't none of this happened. Mm -hmm. It's been three or four years down the line. Ain't none yes. of this happened. Because you know why? Because the person who you laid, had to lay the hands yeah. on you mm -hmm. at that time. Might have been they they was either contaminated with something mm -hmm. or that prophecy wasn't for right then. Mm -hmm. That's right. And sometimes you can move out of season. I admit, out yeah, there has been good. times I moved out of season. When I moved out of season, mm -hmm. it set the promise back. Mm -hmm. God says, "I never changed my mind about mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's up you to want to change your mind. That's right. That's right. I didn't change my mind. A promise is a promise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we have to make sure that we hearing the Father's voice for mm -hmm. ourselves. Yeah. Of course, prophecy is real. I mean, God will lead me to prophesy to people. Mm -hmm. But I ask God, is this the right time for to say it? Yeah. I've learned that now. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. sometimes you can release it too early, then there it is. Mm -hmm. You just said something that's supposed right. to happen, and then, and then, and then boom. Yeah. Well, you said this. He said that. That's a false prophet. Yeah. No, I wouldn't. That's not a false prophet. It's it just the whole point. It was just released too soon. Or, or maybe they are not in alignment because you, you got to be in alignment if you yeah. want the blessings of God. You got, and that goes back to just kind of what we were saying earlier. You want to make sure you're on alignment. This is the, the whole point of this the discussion is, again, not to hammer anybody, mm -hmm. you know, not to degrade, but to set somebody free, you know, mm -hmm. myself, Elder Chris, you know, wait, we cannot walk any kind of way and expect the blessings of God. And you got to watch the enemy. He tricky yeah. because he'll make you feel like you're being blessed. He'll give it because especially, I mean, look at we look, when we look at the world. The people that are not aligned with, with God. And let's take, for example, some of these, these Hollywood people, these big name stars. And they've got they've got they got the riches, they got the house, they got the cars, they've got the money, glory be God. But they don't have God. And it's you know, and, and they're headed for um they're headed for a, a damnation, right? And because the Bible says that if you don't line up with the word of God according to the book of Galatians, if you read the book of Galatians, that you not you won't inherit the kingdom of God if you're operating in the flesh. So there's no way they're gonna inherit the kingdom of God because it's Bible, right? It's Bible, but at the end of the day, mm -hmm. they 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 some of them use Bible principles to get the yes, blessings. That's right, that's and, right. And, and the thing the thing about it is when they use Bible principles mm -hmm. to get the blessings, uh -huh. the, uh, the earth the best. Half of us <laughs> won't use the Bible principles mm -hmm. to get mm -hmm. a half of the blessing we're That's supposed right. to get. That's right. That's you'll right. drive by a homeless person, or or mm -hmm. you'll know an older lady, mm -hmm. or you need some. You'll see some children that really mm -hmm. need help. Mm -hmm. You keep on going. That's right. And you're That's not even right. paying That's attention right. to them. You, you don't want to yeah. answer. You don't want to answer yeah. the phone when they call mm -hmm. nothing mm -hmm. because you're selfish and you're stingy. Yes. Yes. And see. God loves a cheerful giver. Yes. I mean, that's all it is too. You have that's to give. Right. So you have to give so it can be pressed down, run together, shake it together, stir yeah. You know the scripture. Yeah. And, and so therefore, you they, they, they live by Bible principles. And mm -hmm. as they live by the Bible principles, mm -hmm. they get the blessings. That's right. That's right. They get the earthly that's blessings. Right. And then sometimes, just sometimes, they tap into mm -hmm. the spiritual blessings. That's right. They tap into the spiritual blessings for the simple fact is because they're willing to give. Yes. And see, when your heart is open to give, mm -hmm. God has no other choice but to impart in that's you. Right, that's right. That's right. And, 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 and give it back to you. That's right. That's right. Press together, shake it down, run it over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But see, and here, here's the thing about, about that as well. <laughs> giving, giving can be, you can give all day long. Mm -hmm. But if your heart is not cheerful, you're not willing to give, mm -hmm. you, you might as well keep it. Keep mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And then if you're going to tell everybody, you might mm -hmm. as well not do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because that's your reward right there. Mm -hmm. Well, I just gave I just gave $500,000 to such, such, such mm -hmm. for this, this, and that. And you told this to a room of mm -hmm. 30 to 40 people. That's right. 
That's right. Or you told us to a room for 100 people or, or more. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the thing about that is, is this. Mm -hmm. If you're going to do your arms, arms, like the Bible said, if you're going to do your arms loudly, mm -hmm. hey, that's your reward. Mm -hmm. Now, I know some people do it as a testimony. That's cool. Mm -hmm. But after you do it, I, this is my, this is me. When I do, I, when God leads me to do things, mm -hmm. I don't, I rarely tell, I don't rarely tell anyone. Yeah. I just be quiet. Yes, yeah, yeah. And I do it for the simple fact that it's because of my heart. Mm -hmm. Because I truly mm -hmm want to see people mm -hmm. free i mm -hmm. truly want to see people mm -hmm. living in prosperity and mm -hmm. blessed i want i truly want to see people you know uh, uh being able to get out of a rut yeah. you know i know that it is to be in a rut when someone don't want to help you and and, mm -hmm. and they and they 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 don't care and, and mm -hmm. people just pass you by and then people invite you to live in their home and then That's as right. you live in their home they talk about you like a dog and all this so yeah. so i know what it is to be like that so therefore I try to, you know, do my best to, to honor God and God. And I ask God every day to use me. Hey, God, what do you want me to do? Break, take me to the people who you want me to bless. So, yeah. and, and actually, some days it happens. Some days he don't tell me anything. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, if you guys going to live right, live right. Yeah. The Old Testament, the New Testament, all of it is the Bible. Yes. It's the rules That's of right. life. That's right. That's right. That's right. And and you want your blessings. You want to see prosperity, and you want to make it. I mean, you want to please God. You want to, you want to. You know, we, and another thing, we never know when we're gonna get up out of here. We never yeah. know when God is gonna call us home, and we don't want to be in a position. I mean, nobody can tell you whether you're going to heaven or hell except God. But you don't want to be in a position. You don't want to gamble with your life, and you don't want to be in a position if God does call you home that you're in the middle of sin, right? You know, you're in the middle of sin because only God knows where your heart is at that time. But that's that's something you don't want to gamble with. One of the things that brought me in, one of the things that um, brought me in and to total surrender, sur surrendering of God is that, you know, these type of messages being preached like, you know, hey, um, uh, people asking me or I'm hearing messages such as if Jesus Christ came back today, would you be ready? You know, if, if the Lord decided to take you home today, would you be ready? I remember I was in a situation where um, I was I was living with a man and we were not married, you know, and I used to always be afraid. God, if I if, I, if you call me home or if you come back, you know, well, you know, I know better. You know, it's not like I don't know better. You know what? What would happen to my soul? You know, this flesh we know is going to go back to the dirt. Right. But we know that we have a soul. Where is our soul going to? end up you know and so i don't know about you but i want i want to make heaven glory be god you know i read of heaven i read of you know no more sorrow no more tears i don't want to go to hell glory be to god and i think a lot of preachers don't preach on this enough i mean of, of course it has to be a balance and you have to love the people and you have to allow them to know their love you know and to help them and to meet them you know where they are but to bring them out as well but i think a lot of people um uh, a lot of a lot of messages are not preached enough on hell to let the people know, you know, that there needs to be a certain fear, you know, in people, you know, that, there's a healthy fear, you know, for because that's a lot of what's what's happening today. A lot of people don't fear God, you know, right. they don't. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. And, that, and that's very true, mm -hmm. but they won't teach on it for the simple fact they're trying to not to lose the members. But mm -hmm. let me tell you something, and I'm I'm gonna tell everybody this. Mm -hmm. Whether you lose members or not, mm -hmm. I would be cool with losing a member mm -hmm. if I'm telling the truth. Mm -hmm. But if I lose a member, because see, you can also lose a member by being fake, mm -hmm. phony. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The father can shut your church down in a second. That's right. That's right. And I and I, really, and I truly believe this is what's about to start happening. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just truly believe it. That. Mm -hmm. Church is about to, you know, I'm not, and I'm not speaking doom and damnation on no one's church. Mm -hmm. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, mm -hmm. like, you're not teaching the truth. You're not rightly dividing the word. Mm -hmm. You're teaching prosperity. You're teaching, mm -hmm. you're teaching, you're teaching prosperity, which is cool. Of mm -hmm. course, teach prosperity. Help, help us get out. Of, help, mm -hmm. help people get out of debt. Help people uh, 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 advance yes, in life. Right. That's yes, right. That's but at the end of the day, they got to have some guidance. Yes. So you, you can, you can get, you can get out of. You can get out of uh, mm -hmm. you can get out of debt mm -hmm. and still go to hell. That's right. That's right. That's you can right. you can you can get you know what I'm saying you can get anything mm -hmm. and, and and be rich in the morning mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and still go to hell. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's good. That's and you know good. what I'm saying. And, and at the end of the day, 
you know, the Bible tells us be quick, don't be quick to lay our hands on any of them. You know, I forgot how that scripture went. Mm -hmm. But you know what I'm saying about don't lay the hands on. Mm -hmm. Folks mm -hmm. laying their hands on these people, mm -hmm. transferring these spirits. Then here it is, you got all type of problems coming in your house that you ain't never had mm -hmm. before. All uh, because these mm -hmm. folks, these folks in the pool pit doing all type of stuff too. And I'm not, I'm not, I know y'all saying, man, he's not, he only preaches on not. It's just the whole point. If you're gonna, if you're gonna lead a flock, mm -hmm. there's a first Timothy. Yeah, yeah. Do not do not be hasty in land mm -hmm. in the land on your hands and do not share in the sins of others. Keep yourself pure. That's the in new international version. Mm -hmm. Uh let's go to the King James version. Mm -hmm. Lay hands suddenly on no man. Mm -hmm. Neither be partaker of others' men's sins. Mm -hmm. Keep thyself pure, Amen. and that's all the Holy Spirit. That's all that's God is saying. Right. Keep thyself that's pure. Right. You that's got right. to be pure. Be no pure. matter what. If you going if you're gonna lead someone, that's a like, and, and 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 the Father's called me to be a leader. Mm -hmm. So you know what I have to do? I have to learn how to be. I have to learn how to keep myself out of certain situations. Sometimes people don't be like, well, he don't never come around. You know why? Because I have to keep myself away mm -hmm. from things. Not saying I'm better than you, nothing. Yeah. But I, I wanna I wanna always be able to a point of access to where I can hear the father's voice no matter what. Amen. Amen. We've got one minute left. Yeah. Amen. I didn't want I didn't want the broadcast to cut off cut off on uh, Elder Chris. That's really, really great. Listen, we only have like a minute left. I want to take this minute to thank God. Thank you, first of all, for tuning in. And we're touching the grim through the mighty name of Jesus Christ that you are truly, truly blessed. But I want to take these last few few seconds within a minute for uh, Elder Chris to just pray. And just, if, if you're out there and, and if you're in need of anything, and even if you just want to, um, if you just want to renew, glory be to God, renew your faith, renew your, your walk with God, the mighty name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. If you could just go over that sinner's prayer with them as we're go out and just also we're going to believe God and touch and agree with you also in the mighty name of Jesus Christ as you continue to um you uh um uh take up on you know G take Jesus Christ into your life or even if you've uh backslid you know if you just want to come back to Jesus Christ we're believing that God will make everything all right and put you back in the right place and restore you in the name of Jesus Christ even according to second Chronicles 7 and 14 but if you could just pray real quick because we got less than a minute and pray us on out thank you Jesus Repeat if you, you if you guys are listening, just repeat this. Okay. Father, I come to you right now. I'm a sinner, Father. I lay all my sins at your feet. I ask you that you forgive me for my sins, Father. Cover me with your blood. I'm behind your cross, Father. Yes. Teach me, Father God, how to live by your precepts, Father God. Teach me how to study your word, Father God. Show me yes. what to do and when to do it and how yes. to do it, Father. I ask you right now, Father, as you as I give myself to you, Father God, yes, Father. show me the way, Father God, to your heart, God. Yes, Help me to be like you want me to be and act like you want me to act, yes, Father. Father. Now, Father, I ask you right now, even as they pray this prayer, Father, I ask you right now that you set them free, God, bring every backslider back to you, Father. Yes, I decree right now, Father God, that every person yes, that hears Father. this video right now, Father God, yes, Father. that their heart be pricked, Father God, and that they yes, want to live Father. close, they want to live and go harder and harder for you, Father. Yes, I decree, Father God, the disciples.